Welcome back to another informative and exciting episode of podcast where we cover everything cannabis and hemp. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please do so, as this will help us sustain our channel. And remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Welcome to another episode of podcast. I'm sitting here with Ubabu Snokes all the way from Ponderland. How are you doing, my king? I'm doing so good, it hurts. <laughs> I feel truly blessed and uh, truly anointed to be able to be part of what you're doing because I saw the other people you were interviewing, the heavyweights of the cannabis industry. I so appreciate if, you. If Ponderland is here as well, then thank you for the recognition. I thank appreciate you, you saying that. I appreciate you saying thank you, that. Thank you, thank you. On that note, please do explain to the people why you are here at the expo, you know. Uh, I'm the secretary of the Nyandeni uh, Kingdom, uh, uh, Nyandeni Kingdom Agricultural Primary Cooperative, that is uh, uh, for the Pondo King, uh, King Damase, Damase II, who has surrounded himself with uh, professionals and these uh, professionals are like lawyers, doctors, uh, um, business people from investments, or from insurance, from... Like uh, a whole database basically? No, not a whole database, it's about 14 chosen. 14 um, chosen? 14 chosen okay. professionals who are from that area and also uh, from the circle of the, of, of the king to actually come about with solutions for agriculture. Awesome. In his kingdom. In his kingdom. Yes. Obviously to, to, to empower the Pandoland uh, community. And empower the crown too, because the crown, due to the new dispensation, uh, uh, you know, of, uh, uh, of, of so-called democracy or freedom, they have not been looked after. All kings, other than the Zulu king, have not been looked after mm. in a way that is due to kings. Oh my goodness. Yes by the government, by the people, uh, they've not been allowed to maneuver and move the way they're supposed to move. Mm. So some of them are thinking that, okay, after all these things that they've been watching and observing over the years about how government is behaving uh, 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 towards their subjects and so on, and the usage of their uh, uh, land and so on, they feel that they need to be more hands-on. And we feel that too. The kings need to be more hands-on and especially take responsibility of what is happening on the land and to their people. That is so awesome. So now, the Tautuna the, Yaron, the, 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 our president, right, announced that some things will be happening for Ponderland, right? They've been talking to people. Who are these people that they've been talking to? What exactly is going to be trans trans okay. firing there? Well, you must look at it like this. Uh, at the moment, it's about the incubation center in Lusiki Siki. Okay. Um, uh, there, there are ministers who come from Pondo Land okay. who are close to the president, mm -hmm. you see. So these particular ministers are coming back to their area. Pondo Land has got two kingdoms. Uh, uh, the one that covers Lusiki Siki and Bizana and the other area, and the other one that covers Port St. John's, Meleni Lebode, which is the one I'm working for, uh, King Damas and Damas for So, um, when, he, when, when they talk Pondoland, they're talking of a huge kingdom and is now divided into two. Actually, if you take them on Pondomise on the side, who are the younger brothers of Pondo, from Pondomise, they are also part of that Pondo bloodline. Okay. Uh, uh, going to Mkonto, uh, uh, Kingdom, so uh, it's a huge uh, kingdom. So when he's talking of Ponderland, he's just talking of the majority of the Trans Sky, mm -hmm. former Trans Sky. You know, that's what they mean. Mm -hmm. So the interventions are training, incubation, setting up means of production, creating uh, uh, awareness first, consolidating the land and the actual farmers into, uh, and then getting role players. Like right now, they were sitting on the. Um, on, 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 on the on, on the OR Tambo uh, strategic plan, so they, they they sit on that strategic plan and try and bring in activities that they can that they can need to cost and 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 and, 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 and do in order to implement mm -hmm. and, and see the, the relevant stakeholders building of the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So it's a big thing that they want to do in Ponderland, 
uh, we are feeling it, we are feeling the difference, but more than anything else, they've given us an opportunity to stand up for ourselves. Okay. We are a stand up kind of people. Mm -hmm. We've been planting even when the president was not actually allowing mm -hmm. us, us to plant and to, and, to, and to cultivate. We could not allow ourselves to be oppressed in that level, to that level. So we continued, many of us under those difficulties, to plant and, and, and to, uh, to cultivate and to sell. Uh, for recreational purposes, to use it as medicine at home, amongst our families and friends, not really selling it, uh, but living with it. We continue to live with the plant. Uh, and in Pondoland, that is what they want to promote. They want to promote the fact that these people have been living with the plant and they did so much good for themselves under difficult situations. Can't they do that for the rest of the world? Mm. So the president uh, sent people to talk, has reached out, uh, offering other people uh, opportunity to apply for jobs within the president's office okay. so they can help him coordinate okay. uh, these, these, uh, these things. Now, government is government, the way government is, but that's not the president's fault that everybody, other people do their work and other people don't do their work. Other people learn and read and inform themselves and other people don't. Other people adopt to change, manage change and other people don't. That's not the president's fault. That is the fault maybe going down to ministers, MECs and their management and their consolidation of information. But we are stand-up people, we will meet them halfway and make sure that we empower them enough so that they can be able to look after us and, uh, and, and, and any of the mistakes they're making will help them rectify. So why is it that so many investors are interested in Bondoland? Because uh, there's a, a good chance of return of investment. There's a good opportunity of return of investment through the in-kind uh, uh, contribution, the, the in-kind capital that we have, which is land, labor, culture, um, and, and a long practice of mm. cultivation. Oh, okay. And what is it that you are hoping to gain from the expo here? Knowledge, attention, collaboration, um, more wisdom in how to control our emotions regarding the information we receive and how we respond mm -hmm. more emotional intelligence that i would like to spread towards everybody who, who's in this thing we don't just say a white person is a white person we don't want white people you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't we don't just say an indian is an indian for example we don't just say ganja is ganja you know ganja is, is different strains is different jobs and we don't just say um uh, they're saying medical this and medical that we know cannabis all to be medical whether it is low THC high THC we know it to be medical so I'm coming to hear what are these white people meaning by medical this and, and and hemp this as if it's not medical and why are they complaining about the amount of THC that we have what is it that they've got against the THC where is the THC got created for them to help it and we are cultivating it and we cannot go below these levels that are so-called international levels yeah and, and we don't understand why are they cow coishing down, bowing down to the international community? For what reason? We don't, we don't understand why. Mm. Uh, is it because they want money from the international community that they cannot get here? Or, or what is it exactly? So I've come here to find out. What the goal is. What the goal is. And I've come here actually to tell them that we are not prepared to bow down to any international community. We, have our, we want our customers here. And we are not even really interested in selling raw material. We want to sell uh, value-added products because we're going to be selling raw material like Africa has been doing all this time and then they come back and sell us a cell phone. They come back and then they sell us <laughs> <laughs> the, the drinks. They come back and they sell us the material. Even Chinese are from selling our us materials. stuff. From our materials. From our raw material. They come, even Chinese are doing and this And it becomes so expensive. Even, you know, we understand when whites are shying us with chibobo, you know. You know, we're well, used to the white chibobo. Now, even Chinese think I'd love us and our shy are easy. Love, you know? They must just give us raw material. So, so we don't understand what all this uh, compliance, international compliance is about in, as far as raw material is concerned mm. and how much THC it has. Mm. We should just produce what we can produce, catalog it, catalogize it and what we need to change. If let's say there's somebody that wants something below 0.2%, yeah, he must make an order. Mm. We order that and then we plant it for him and then we give it to him. But that shouldn't stop what we are normally doing according to our weather which can, gives us more than two percent more than three percent thc we shouldn't see any problem in that mm. so now the international community wants to make their problems our problems want to make africa their dump place where they can just control everything 
No, they're not respecting our GMP. We make a GMP here. They're saying, oh, the laboratories are giving different information. Who said it's not the same thing in Europe? It's the same thing in Germany. The laboratories are giving different information, same product, di different tests. It's the same thing. But you understand? Those people in Germany are white, like our whites here. They're just as white as them, intelligent like ours here. This is intelligent in them. So I don't see the disrespect just because they are from Africa. And the undermining, you know, to fulfill our requirements so much. They are corrupt, very corrupt. So we as a people, as an African people, what kind of tired of that? What kind of tired? So we want, we want people when they're dealing with us and this important crop and when we want to be part of it, we want them please to cut out the crap and there's no European community who's above us. We've got a, 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 kick, a, a, a head start, yes, we agree. But even that head start was not kosher, was not kosher. We were being put in prison while they're taking their children to university on the basis of commitments made to them. So uh, I'm here to find out. With Peshe, you are here with Peshe. Oh, no. You want to understand what the color had. So I hear you want to the But then you, you want you want to partner basically. What you're saying is you want to partner with. You don't mind partnering with foreign investors, but they need to be uh, understanding the vision, Yaluna, right? Yeah, not only that. Most mm. of them actually do. Okay. They need to um, be more pro-Africa okay. when they come here. They must reduce this arrogance of thinking that they can own Africa. Okay. And if they have that ambition to own Africa, it's not going to happen easily. We cannot allow that situation going further. Mm, mm. You understand? Then, mm. then if you want to own Africa, come and be part of Africa. Mm. But to own Africa is not going to happen. Mm. What you can do is you can partner with us. You can empower us and gain from that. You can mm. gain many things. Mm. You can gain our partnership. You can gain our loyalty. You can gain our collaboration, you see? So uh, to us nowadays, the word investor is, has a synonym of bullism, has a synonym of condescending attitudes, and we have to look up and as if we are beggars, not as if we are on a table dealing, as if we have no bargaining power. So I want to come here to help us increase our bargaining power, all of us together towards international community. So I want to commit that we work together especially the, the, the Caucasian South Africans that have done such a good work by, by, by starting and investing and believing in this product, that they now integrate us and create an inclusive industry. Mm -hmm. And then this industry together must be South African, so South African that it is, has its foundation in the kingdoms, these conquered kingdoms of Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. It must find its foundation there and help to re-empower and harness that power that is sub down there because of this oppression and all of that and mm -hmm. segregation there's a lot of power that is not coming that mm -hmm. they cannot even harness mm -hmm. because they're made most people are too busy walking on top of mm -hmm. us instead of walking with, with us, us. Mm -hmm. so i'm here to say to the caucasian people uh, uh, we are brothers and sisters and our ancestors are crying the same cry their cry is for africa mm -hmm. when they are helping us they're not helping us to build america no it's impossible our ancestors are helping us to build this land that they fought for, mm. hard for. Oh, okay. so, so let us listen to in our ancestors. Let us mm. be more closer to our ancestors mm. and the spirits. And we do that sometimes by relax, take a step back sometimes, and just listen to what's going on, allow certain problems to happen, certain things to happen, because that's how ancestors we operate. Yeah. Our ancestors guide you, they take you where you Places, have to be. Yeah. So you can't, if you don't let go, you won't hear, you won't see. Mm. And if you always complain, mm. there's actually nothing to complain about. Even if you are broke, you've got no money, things are going worse. It's them mm. doing something mm. for you. You know, and I'm sure you, you must know this. <laughs> of course. You must know, <laughs> I know this. That so, all too well. <laughs> so, our white Caucasian friends, they must understand that they are now as much Africans as we are. <laughs> 300 years is not a child's play. And when it comes, yeah, you understand? So their responsibility is as much as ours is. The responsibility towards the kingdoms mm. of this land mm. is as much as ours. They can, the conquering time is over. Now they've got to conquer our hearts mm -hmm. and win our hearts over in our collaboration, mm -hmm. share standards. Mm. So they come together. down to, to pitch to you guys for why 
We should be partners. It shouldn't even be sort. a come down. Yeah. They should come too. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't really believe we're down because you know we've got all of this mm. in kind mm. capital. Mm. This this land, mm. this culture, this mm. tradition, mm. this uh, uh, this economy, this rural economy. We have it. We have we have institutions. Mm. You know, you might not see them because they're not uh, westernized, mm. but they are deeply institutional. You can't even greet somebody anyhow in I our know, country, in our lands. Mm. You greet somebody in a particular way in order for you to, to, to be sure you're going to gain the necessary respect. Mm. You mm. see? So, and they should help us decolonize the country, decolonize the economy. We need all to be decolonized. Mm. Us as well as those that have inherited what their forefathers achieved mm. as colonizers. Mm. We all need to be decolonized. So we were coming here to spread the message of Guys, let's let's look to a new dispensation with love, with umtung umtung aband attitude. Mm. You know, a human is a human throughout. Let's change our attitude, not profit at all costs, not do this. If you don't do it, forget you. I'll leave you. <laughs> I'll throw you away. Mm. No, humans are too valuable to be thrown away, mm. and, and 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 to focus on money. Money can come, money can go, but the human species and the genes, uh, there are no money can pay for that. You know what? I would love for us to continue having this discussion, but due to time, we have to cut the conversation short. Very, but very unfortunately. I believe that you have taken your point across, like people have heard, like you, you've given key pointers for those that are watching, you know, especially the, the, the foreign investors, those that are interested in investing, you know. They, yeah, but yeah, but please, I really want them to know that we, want, of course, we want the investment. No, that's why I was asking you earlier. Jorge, I know you want them, we but you need just... The investment. Yeah, yeah. But we need the investment to create a value chain within our area. You see, we're not looking for an investment that's going to now have to marry us with America, necessarily economy, with Canadian economy, whatever. No, we are looking for investments to help us boost our Af South African kingdoms, these kingdoms in Southern Africa, those that economy primarily. So if anybody has an investment model that does just that and is satisfied with what percentage he can receive from doing that, please, they must contact King Damasen Damasen, the second. Yeah, the contact, yeah. And, and they can do that through me, Snokes Poswa. And Snokes Poswa, I'm available on Facebook, on give your, give your Instagram. Handle. Um, um, I've, 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 you can even get to me through Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, because we're making music, we're doing culture, everything based in the rural areas. We build studios in the rural areas. What we're doing, we're developing the Pondo Kingdom right in Pondo Land. We do put state-of-the-art studios, not just any kind, not just any kind of studio, not just any kind of studio. We put state-of-the-art studios, equipment, workshops, and productions. So. They can just go onto onto my uh, onto our platforms. You can check us on Galaza Multimedia as well. Then you can see the website. Say it uh, again. Galaza Multimedia. That is Galaza with Z A. Uh, Galaza G A L A Z A. Oh, but otherwise, me as Snokes, I'm I'm really available on WhatsApp. What's your number? Zero seven three. Yeah. One seven one five four one eight. 073-171-5418 it might help to talk to me so i can make the all arrangements for the meetings with the kings and the, the king and the relevant stakeholders i am looking forward to working with the other kings as well but i'm focusing one at a time okay. so uh, we're going to deal with the pondo king because he's prioritized due to national interests and so on and so forth with the two pondo kings we're going to try and, and get them going and then the tembu king as well uh, buelekaya in tembu land has got a huge uh, territory lots of uh, in-kind capital so and lot of goodwill okay so um they should please talk to us give us the models and and and, and we are sure to get down to business together because one thing I like about the king's character, the king's character is he's young, but he's very attentive, very mature, and he's very open for, 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 for new suggestions, even to do things which I believe are way below a king. He does them. He comes to, attends all the meetings. He does everything that is necessary to grow his people. He understands because he understands what needs to be done. So that I'm, I'm awesome. very, 
I'm, I'm, I, I, this will be very fruitful for anybody who wants to invest in the area. Rather go through the kings because the kings are not elected. They'll be there all the time. If you're too busy thinking government, 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 every four years this government, government changes. <laughs> and then what happens? One team comes in. When the next team comes in, they do change away. Change everything. They change everything that was done with the previous team and it becomes diff difficult. Okay. And unfortunately, we're still dealing with the issue of ethics around government operations and efficiency. So we'd rather now empower the kings, re-empower the kings with the assistance. So we've already started those business models whereby invest investment is doing direct contracts with the king and their cooperatives. On that note, the passion. Bon, I wish you all the luck. You know, I'm, I'm hoping from this, people will now be reaching you and, and interacting so that you guys can build this beautiful Bonderland that you, your kings, have envisioned. I really do hope that. So thank you for coming on to the show. We appreciate I you, for, you for all the knowledge uh, that you have provided today. I thank you for having us. Thank you so much for having us. And God bless you on your path. Thank you Your so podcast much. is very good. And uh, I really recommend that everybody does subscribe. Thank and, you. Uh, please uh, follow and keep following. And if you have content, tell her. If you have content, tell her <laughs> that you have interesting content. She's also very open yeah. to come. She's also coming to Ponderland. To meet the kings. Definitely. Of Definitely. course. Because she can hear it from the horse's mouth. And that's, yeah. I don't have to, you know, let them hear from the horse's mouth. As <laughs> yeah. To, yeah. What is it that is actually going to happen in this kingdom? Exactly. And for these people. Yeah. What are the relationships with yeah. the government and the president? And I, would, so I would love that. You understand? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And You're then welcome. on that note, please do remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Thank you for watching. Yes. Subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe, like and share buttons below. We would also appreciate your comments. And remember to cannabis responsibly at all times.